Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, you may recall a few months ago I visited a couple local breweries in town. The Bear Arms Brewery and the Waco Ale Company. Now, when I was at the Bear Arms Brewery, they mentioned that there was another couple of breweries that I had to check out. One of them was called the Brotherwell Brewery. And I've actually seen some of their beer in the beer shelves at uh, the store and had it and found it alright. Uh, not a huge fan of the ones I've seen. but. I think what I want to do is go check their brewery out and it turns out today they are having a little festival called the East Side Market and they're billing it as local entertainment, local food trucks, local artisans and craft brews. So we're going to go check out the Brotherwell Brewery and their East Side Market Festival. Let's go. This is going to be fun. All right, we are here. Now I gotta admit, this is a part of town I've never actually made it down to. It's an older part of town. We're just slightly on the other side of the river. But this is Brotherwell Brewery. This is actually over there. You can actually see there's actually quite a bit going on in here. So let's take a look at this kind of cool mural as we go by here. Kind of cool looking, huh? And here we go right here, starting with the food trucks. Took out some custom made cakes here. And some jewelry if you're interested. And if you're into that stuff. Some homemade uh, woodwork here. Coasters and all sorts of fun stuff for the walls. But holy cow, check this out. So it looks like they got some walls here. So they got some just local street artists kind of doing their stuff here, making uh, original creations right now. This guy's doing this with uh, spray paint. Check this out. Gonna have to kind of talk a little bit to drown out the music, but that's sometimes how it works at places like this. Some of the different things they've done here. I'm assuming this was all created uh, just for the uh, for the show here. It looks like they just put wood up here and let the people do their thing, but kind of cool stuff, right? Now that the music's off for a moment here, we can maybe do something here, at least while they're in between tracks. Some jewelry, some kind of fun clothing stuff, kind of vintage stuff, it looks like to me. Not exactly my style, but that's okay. There's obviously a market for this for somebody. Never know what you're gonna find around places like this. Got some candles, some soaps. Hello. Good, how are you? Get your tarot cards read here. Had Matthew Roberts do that for me a while ago. I don't know, I've got to question some of these scented candles here. I really like that uniform. All right, so what, what is it you do? Uh, As... Air fresheners and okay. wax melts. And wax melts, okay. I've, I've seen, yeah, that's what these are here. You don't, you don't have the monkey farts like the people over there, right? Yeah. You do have monkey farts. Yeah, we do have some. Okay, I was thinking that was uh, not maybe the best selling point in the world, but. <laughs> it's a bad name, but, but it, it smells, smells good. It smells good. So, okay. Well, I don't have anything to base it on. I don't know what monkey farts smell like, so. Obviously, they smell pretty good. Okay. Based on that. Well, I might have to check it out then. <laughs> I got another one, same smell, but they changed it to Curious George. Curious George. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you so very much. Oh, this guy does uh, amateur caricature artists here. Art Simpson, Sonic the Hedgehog, 
He gets Pinky in the Brain, Animaniacs. Oh, man, how are you? Very good. Just checking out your work here. I have the character designer from Animaniacs. Uh huh. Pinky in the Brain. Yeah, I saw some of those over there. That's cool. I like the Bart Simpson. Actually, kind of glad they turned off the rave music. It isn't really my thing, and it makes it hard to vlog and figure out what's going on here. Turning violet clothing. Got kind of a variety of stuff here. Home Depot, my favorite store. You think they'd make? Uh, they'd get? Uh, give me a discount if I walked into the store with that? Who knows? This place is called My Dog Needs That. I bet you you could find a lot of things in here for your dog. See dog dishes and little chew toys and doggy treats and all that fun stuff. Ah, good to know. Well, those look good enough to eat, don't they? Yes, they do. Look at this. Fruit Loops this and... That's, that's Does that one smell like a tennis shoe? Oh, okay. Wow. That's cool. That is cool. That is real cool. Almost wouldn't want to burn them though. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to, want to look at them and smell them. Yeah. But you can smell it. <laughs> right. Yeah, I took a whiff of that one. She's right. That smells just like Fruit Loops. It smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Oops All Berries. Oh, I would never have You can take it off. I can smell it through that. Wow, you're right. Lots of different kinds of t-shirts here. She got Baylor, of course. You can't go anywhere in Waco without finding Baylor. Check it out, that tie-dye. That's pretty cool. Oh, actually, uh, signed jerseys. That's cool. Never know what you're gonna find at a place like this. In case you ever needed a Hillary Duff t-shirt, there you go, here's where you go. Okay, this is the Brotherwell Brewery. So let's go ahead and check out the, check this out, see what's in here. I don't know, I'm guessing it's a brewer. But we'll figure it out. Wonder if they give tours. So it looks like they got a little bit of a, a beer tasting thing going on here. Got a little bit of a line for that. So I'm going to wait in line to see what I can uh, find back here. But this is their brew operation right here. I don't know. I'm going to ask around and see if I can get a tour back there. They have some kind of cool merchandise too. T-shirts and that kind of stuff. I usually like to get a T-shirt from a brewery. So I'll probably get something here. Looks like they sell growlers, we'll make use of that. we we'll find something we like. All right, this is called a flight of beer. And basically it's a sampler of four different things. Basically I came in here and he and, I, and they asked me, what do I want? And I said, I don't really know. Tell me a little bit about what you got here. And he says, okay, well, what do you like? And I said, I'm usually a fan of IPAs and uh, I like a nice bitter hoppy flavor, decent alcohol content. Basically I'm not a fan of like really fruity sweet beers. So he said, okay, well, let's try this. He gave me a little taste of this uh, Waco Town IPA, and I like that a lot. And so he included that, and then he gave me this one, uh, Shelter with Haley's, uh, Active Faith, and Percy Potter, Porter. And just for fun, uh, I marked the alcohol content on each of them. So this is 7.0, 5.5, 8.5, and uh, 5.1 alcohol content. So. We're gonna give each of these a little bit of a taste test and let's see what we think. All right, so we're gonna start off with this Waco Town. This is that 7.7% 7, uh, 7, uh, alcohol IPA I've already had. I like this, this has got a good uh, good rich flavor. It's got a real strong hoppy flavor, good bitter flavor. I like that in a beer and uh, we're gonna try that now. Oh yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Got to kneel down here a little bit so I can be seen. Yeah, very good. I like this a lot. So, 
what I've done is opened up a tab and when I find uh, things that I like, I'm going to probably get a pint of each of them and bring them home with me so I can enjoy them at home. Yeah, yummy, yummy. Now this is the, uh, let's see, what is it they call? Okay, I call it shelter with haze. It's actually shelter in haze. And it's kind of a ha hazy beer. Almost looks like a Hefeweizen. 5.5 alcohol. Yeah, that's got a little bit more of a fruity flavor, a little less uh, bitter. Kind of tastes like a little like a Hefeweizen. A little cloudy like that. Not quite as heavy as a Hefeweizen. What's that? Yeah, this is all right. I'm not as into this as I am into this one. Yeah, this is called Active Faith. This is the one that's uh, they call this a triple brew, so it's got a real high alcohol content. This is the highest of the of the group. This is 8.5, so this could probably be really good. Yeah, this one's this one's good too. It is quite as hoppy as like this one. It's a little bit more so than this. But I like this one too. I've had something here this reminds me of, but I'm trying to think of what it is. I'll have to keep thinking about that here. And then this one's called the Percy Porter. This one's 5.1 alcohol. Real dark beer, but they say it's not real heavy. They say a lot of people in Texas aren't really into heavy beers, so let's try this one. Yeah, this is pretty good too. It's a, it's a little darker, reminds me a little like of a, uh, of, uh, a Guinness. It's not quite as heavy as a Guinness, but it's kind of got that rich, rich flavor, kind of a chocolatey coffee type flavor. They mentioned that, that I might yeah, kind of get some uh, coffee or uh, chocolate type flavors uh, underneath. And I can kind of taste that in this. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Guinness. Uh, like I said, not as heavy as a Guinness, but still pretty good. I'd say it's between these three right now. This one's probably the least favorite of it, just because it it's, uh, doesn't have quite the flavor of some of the other ones. Yeah, I really like that one. That was the first one they, tr they tried with me uh, before. And they gave me just a little sample of that, and I like that one right off the bat. What's that? Yeah, but it's just the large control present. Really yummy. I'm liking I'm really liking all three of these. You really get the flavor of like the, the aroma of like coffee when you when you start off with this one. Even before you taste it, you kind of smell it. It so smells like coffee. I'm not usually a coffee fan, but it smells good and it tastes good. All right, so as, as I was uh, testing my beers here, what's your name? My name is Amber, Amber, Amber. Bolden. Okay, Amber came up and uh, she's uh, selling a, uh, a citrus lavender cleaning cleaner. She started cleaning the tables. She figured since they're, you know, she was just gonna try it on a real product and she's telling me her story. So go ahead, tell me uh, the story on yeah. this. So the way we came up with our product is we actually uh, we offer residential and commercial cleaning services uh -huh. and we had messed up on a cleaning and uh, we needed to know how to make their countertops better. And so um, an actual granite <laughs> professional told us to use just regular isopropyl alcohol and water. Okay. And we did. And then they loved the clean because we did a re-cleaning, and uh, but they didn't like the smell. Right. Yeah. And so we played around with some essential oils, adding into that that alcohol and water thing, and um, that was kind of a hit. And so then we went on to hire a formulation engineer to get to get our uh, percentages just right. And so the potency was right as well. And so that's how we have our rendering here. Wow. 
That's so, cool. yep, professionally formulated and engineered and sold by a local small business. That's great. Yeah, it's yep. always great to support local local it small is. businesses. It really here. is. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So I'm back to this one here, and uh, now they got uh, the label at the bottom here. Stay, it says "Stay Golden." That's obviously a tribute to Betty White. That's kind of cool. I know you are here because I can smell your brains. So this is a local artist here that does uh, watercolors and acrylics and stuff like that. I kind of walked by a little bit ago and kind of actually found something in there I like. Uh, it does a little local artwork and I found a really cool picture uh, that he did, the watercolor he did of the uh, Waco Suspension Bridge. I'll show it to you right here. Uh, and I picked this up, I'm gonna add that to my house. You know, I'm a, I'm a Texan now, so I gotta include some of this stuff, but I thought that was a good piece and and uh, would be a, a useful, you know, addition to my house. So, you know, whatever, you know, spending a little bit of money, that's how it works sometimes. Kind of cool piece of uh, street art here. Bleak Le Rat. So I'm kind of wandering around the outside of this place. There's some kind of cool murals out here too. Cooling at the east side. A couple of funky decorated uh, cargo containers here. This one's actually open. You can go actually in and see what's in there. Kind of trashed in here. Just saying. Never know what you're gonna find in downtown Waco. Very colorful part of downtown here. Love some of these old murals and paintings on the buildings. Kessner's, 1914. You can just see like layers and layers of signs that used to be here. I'm gonna actually walk around here and let's see what's down here. Yeah, this is a part of town that's seen better days. It's kind of fun to, you know, see this, even though it's almost abandoned at this point. It gives you kind of a, uh, a view of how Waco used to be. This is probably, this was probably a very popular area maybe 50 years ago. 70 years ago, 1950s maybe. Don't even know if this, a lot of this stuff is even open. Actually, maybe it is. This uh, flower shop doesn't look like it's uh, out of business. Flowers look like they're in pretty good shape here. Even if they look like they're fake. Yeah, see so I think this is just because it's Sunday and everything's closed. Like I said, I just wanted to wander around here because I've never actually been to this part of town. Look at that mural down there. Let's take a close look at that. I'm guessing maybe this is some sort of a church here. Pray, faith, unity, how good is it? How good and pleasant is it when God's people live together in peace? But not entirely. Really beautiful piece of artwork. Look at this. Growth starts here. Oh, I know that guy. We all know him. That's the late, great Doris Miller. Yeah, we're really proud of him. Yeah, here's a little plaque up about it. It says, uh, Creative Waco, Tree of Life, 
Creative Waco's Art Apprenticeship Project completed F February 2021. I love some of these funky old buildings here. Benny Frank's Bail Bonds. Check this out. Welcome to Historic Elm Avenue. I love these really cool old murals. Kim and Sam Torres. In order not to pass out of this world unforgotten in just a few years, do some unselfish good. It does not take genius or fame or fortune. All it requires is a good heart and a kind spirit. Jules Bledsoe. Oh, and check out this mural here. Gotta definitely take a look at this. I can't believe that this whole area is something I've never even seen before. I've never been really over the river that much. Reading every day advances dignity. Oh, there he is again. Amazing how much he pops up. Well, I think that's all that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was actually kind of interesting to me because I got to see a part of the town I've never seen before. And, uh, you know, it's a... It's a little old, a little run down, but there's a lot of cool stuff to see down here. And this is what I love about Waco. I keep finding new things that I've never seen before. So that's all I got for today. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you next time on Skipping the Mouse. Good night.